guys, it's Ashlyn, and this week's theme on Seven Dog Lovers is DIY. So I gave you a hint last week in my video to what this week's video was going to be, and it's DIY because I showed you the bottle and these things. Sorry I'm just in my PJs, but I don't really have any more time this weekend to make my video because I'm really, really busy with school homework getting ready for a bunch a bunch of exams oh i hate being in eighth grade it stinks so what you're gonna need for this diy is a regular little bottle and then some sand so what we're going to be making today is a sand in a bottle art thing Sand in a bottle art, I guess. Or sand art, I guess. I don't know. Probably put sand art in the title, so y'all probably actually already know what it is. So what you're going to do is you're going to pop the top of the bottle. And then this might be kind of hard for me because I don't have anything under me. So first I'm going to put in some green sand. So really right now I'm just trying not to spill. I'm trying really hard not to spill. Mm. Okay, that worked a little. Okay. Okay, this one thing like literally went in there, so I've got to like get that out. Oh god. I got my finger stuck. That was nice. Alright, so I pretty much got to pour that out and redo it. Because there was... This thing was in there? I don't even know what this was. Anyways, let me start over. Sorry about that, guys. Um. Yeah. Anyways, I'm kind of just trying to hold the bottle in between my legs and not spill. So I'm kind of using my hands as a funnel. Alright, that's not enough. I need to put in a little more. That feels really weird, but it's working, so... That's all that really matters to me right now is that it's working. So there's a little bit in the bottom, and I'm going to try and, like, alternate my colors. All right, so next time I'm going to do my blue, which I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put my hands here like a funnel so it's, like... actually worked really well. Alright, so I'm going to kind of mix it in. I'm going to, like, I really like blue and green together. I think it makes a really pretty sparkly color. So I'm mixing those together. And it'll probably eventually mix anyways, so I wouldn't really worry about it mixing because it's probably eventually going to mix. So as you can see, there's like the purple, little purple layer on top. And Gabby wants to join the video. So there you can see the little purple layer that built up on top of the blue layer. God, my dad's going to kill me if I get too many sparkles on the bed. Or too many, too much sand. And then I'm going to have to get it on the floor, and then my dad's going to kill me for it being on the floor. So, pretty much my dad's going to kill me 
in all ways for doing this. So now it's time for pink. And this video isn't going to be edited except for the final part where I tell you who got the shout out. Alright, so now there's a pink layer on top of the purple and the bluish green one. So now, I'm going to do another layer of blue. I can't really tell because it's really bad lighting in this room. Dude, if my dad walks in this room while I'm doing this, I'm going to be, like, dead And then, like, sorry about that, you guys. My storage is almost full, so we better get this video done really quickly. So next, let's do another layer of green. And then a layer of pink. I'm not even really paying attention anymore to how much I pour in. I'm just pretty much trying to pour in a bunch of stuff so I can get this video done with and get it posted on Monday. So I can actually have a video to post. Alright, so finally, let's do the top layer, which I'm going to make blue. Okay, it went up to like the very, very top. So now I'm going to put the top on the bottle. Mm. Alright, there we go. And, oh, I think, I guess it didn't go all the way up to the top. But that's okay, I might fix it later. So here is your final sand art product. Alright, now let's go directly to who got the shout out, who got the shout out, and the shout out goes to, hey, it's Chelsea. So thank you so much for commenting on my video, and you get the shout out, so congratulations. And the shout out question for next week is, what are some challenges that y'all would like to see me do on my main channel or even on this channel maybe i'll make one of the weeks soon really soon challenge week so comment down below if you have any ideas for challenges for me to do in another video and i'll see you guys next week bye